Okay, so we are back with uh, Quantum Black Community Campaign Episode 8. Uh, and we have our full group today. When last we left our heroes, they were just getting off of their leave um, in Portland, having returned back from Moscow, Russia, where they encountered um, various issues with the Russian Dr. Bordekoy. And then they returned back, uh, barely surviving a an explosion caused by the spider team sent in after them and he, after their five days of downtime uh, they found out on the fifth day Morthos had been kidnapped um, the party has gone to try to find out where he is located him in a couple hours I think or 45 minutes south I forget exactly what the travel time is but if he was in Salem Oregon um, and they tracked him to a old like an apartment building where they uh, fought some of the Wiz robots, the wind intelligence system, like automated soldier bots, and they found through hacking into its software that it was located in a church not too far away. And that's pretty much where we left off with Jess um, is staking out the church uh, and everybody is about to go in where they believe Morthos is held captive. So, um, any other comments on the recap before we jump right in? Uh, we got our sights set on the guy in the bell tower. Yep, there is a, a guy in the watchtower, armed but not really paying too much attention, it looks like, and it is uh, at this point dusk. Do we know if there's cameras inside this place? I believe uh, you already moved all the cameras, so they're facing the other directions. And there won't be too many at the church. There's maybe one at the front door. I could be misremembering that, though. That might have been for the apartment building, actually. There uh, was the apartment building that had a camera at the front. Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears throat> before I jump in with what happened with Morthos, for the party, is everybody kind of gathering together on the exterior of the church yep i'm waiting for amber's um beautiful gun okay so i will copy over to some tokens and then i need to go over something with morthos also that's i want to say at some point if like during the downtime before if they had the time to pick up just a musical case to store some of her guns. Um, that would probably be something you'd want to have arranged actually during downtime. Uh, after the apartment, you were in the storage unit with where you met up with one of Green's guys and stuff. You, mm. you were busy using like your tools and stuff to try to get into the robot's main room in that time. And so there, you could go out this evening to do it but it just is going to delay um you going onto the scene to try to save morthos so mm -hmm. you want to spend the time yes, to do that enough. now so don't worry about that later then okay she's just like thinking to herself as she, as she carries a like well she's like ready to sniper rifle in the back of the van i really should get some kind of musical case for this to make it less conspicuous okay so jess is already on site um now, Zigzag, you've got your own separate van. What are you wanting to do with where you're at? Um, that's a good question. I want to do my usual, the usual, you know, like a block away. I am the eyes in the sky. Okay, so you set out your drone. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then for the doctor. What are you wanting to do? Um, I'm not quite sure. Um, you want to hang out I, I in think the vicinity? Or? Yeah, I'm just going to kind of kick it and take a look around. Um, hmm. Yes. Could I make a perception while I'm like taking a look around? Sure. Six. Um, 
So yeah, so you can see um, there's the single guard up in the guard tower. He is also armed with some sort of sniper rifle uh, setup, uh, but he seems to be just kind of chilling out, just having a cigarette, just looking down at the parking lot where there's actually several vehicles. There's sedans, uh, people's cars, um, there's a couple vans and stuff all parked in the lot, but there's not really any activity in the cars from what you can tell. Um, actually with a six, you would actually be able to tell that one of the vehicles looks to be almost like a, a surveillance van style setup, uh, but there's no movement in it from what you can see. Um, but it's kind of like the sprinter van with the stand, like extended top so you can stand up inside all right. Um, and it looks to be mm -hmm. fairly like heavy, like it's got whatever it's holding is kind of it's the, the truck has a load inside it basically. Um, that's good mm -hmm. with a six. Uh, Tori is going to be in your van, so he's driving this one, and he will do whatever you all tell him to do. Jess, um, I think you were mm -hmm. on site, but outside of the van. Like, I don't know if you went on a neighbor rooftop or just in a tree. What, what, what is Jess doing? Not in a tree. Jess doesn't climb trees unless she needs to or there's a strategic purpose. Climbing a tree in the middle of the city stands out more. She's just... Chilling on the sidewalk, listening to music, looking around. Could she roll another perception since she's spinning so long yeah. out here? Yeah, you can. Uh, um, you can add a plus two because you've had like that, like three hours in between while they were all at the shop. Hold on, I have to close because the screen is so much smaller. It's yeah, it's a little it's, slower. Uh, yeah. Um, we'll put this guy up in the bell tower. This represents the sorry. soldier dude. I'm trying to get it to... There we go. Oh, you know what? Let's put this good dude up there. Perception with a plus what? Plus two, because you've had so much time to do it. Oh, and she was thinking about looking for like a place... That's not too far away that she could shoot from. Okay. That would be part of her roll if it's okay with you. Um, so with your roll, a four, um, there's neighboring rooftops. Uh, Six. And, Wait, no, four, four. Yeah. Yeah, so there's neighboring rooftops that you could climb up onto pretty much from any direction, north, south, east, or west. Um, and then there's vehicles around, but otherwise there's, apart from like, you know, the occasional pine tree there's not too much to like, climb up to get a high up um vantage point so rooftops would be your best bet so do you want to just hang out kind of like on the the bus stop in the bench or do you want to actually go to somewhere else the bus stop bench for now is fine okay. until i at least get the gun Okay, so reinforcements arrive. Uh, Tori kind of pulls up next to the bus stop. Amber, are you giving over the sniper rifle? Yes. Okay, Amber, <clears throat> uh, you temporarily do not have the Dragonov unless uh, you don't get it back. And then Jess, I've added the Dragonov, which is has a suppressor on it, uh, to your inventory. So it'll be under your weapons. And then um, as... I point my gun out to Amber in the car just in case she needs it as a backup. Okay, she so will do the trade-off for this one. Okay. And then he just like gives her a nod, make the shot count. Okay. So um, as Tori kind of takes the van with the, the doctor inside as well and kind of does a little bit of a circling around the area, Amber, are you still in the van or are you just hanging out with Jess? Does anybody see the best vantage point? Uh, I would like to make perception. Yeah, go for it. Or perception. Or does the doctor have any recommendations for places to take the shot for? Um, so the doctor, you would know with your six that the rooftops are going to be the best if you want to have a like a elevated position. However, um, the bell tower, you can see the guy pretty well from the not the back of the building, but anywhere from the front of the church or the parking lot, which is on the closer side in the art uh, or the picture. Or like if you go to the other side, then that rooftop over there 
but you can shoot from the ground from any of these spots and be pretty okay. <clears throat> hey, Adrian, has the guard changed more than once? No, it's still the same guard. It changed one mm -hmm. time, which you witnessed, and then it's still him. How long ago? An hour and a half. Okay. Okay. So, I think I might just, if the ground is fine, she doesn't want to have to put in the effort to try to climb a roof with a gun. She'll just find a place that's somewhat concealed where she can take a good shot from okay, and roll. get on her walkie. Go ahead and uh, roll a stealth check as you probably cross the street to like the neighboring parking lot and, and set up almost like in between the bushes type thing by a parked car. She will absolutely stealth this. Submit. Okay. Um, anything left anybody wants to do on your prep? Zigzag. Uh, Tori's just going to be in the van, like I said. Is that Make it? Make sure I have my guns loaded, lots of ammo. You know, the basics. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, my prep involves uh, me turning on my iPod and going through my tunes. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, if anything, I would alert uh, both Amber and uh, Zigzag of the Strange Vehicle. And, you know, see what they could make out of that as well. And just alert it to their attention. Okay. Okay. Amber would not at this. We'll have to check that out. Okay. <clears throat> Are you taking any action on that or, or anything else? Um, I cut to Morthos? Is If she can get over there with out being really noticed so as, i would shoot at the very least wait until jess was in position to take a shot in the event the guy tries to move yep so it sounds like jess is in position and as far as everyone can see uh, an ambrose tech taking a closer look at the lot there doesn't oops it's the wrong character there does not seem to be uh anybody else in the vicinity so it's up to you on what you want to do All right. so amber will definitely go to check out that van and she's going to try to be stealthy about it. Okay, go ahead and roll stealth, please. All right, let's see. Yeah, hopefully you get a decent stealth here. Ooh. Okay. Um, as you're beginning to try to crouch and go from car to car, uh, it looks... It looks like you're going to make it. Um, I will say Ambrose uh, and probably Jess and Zigzag, all three of you, because you've got kind of eyes on the area, especially Zigzag with your drone. You can see that the guard at the top of the watchtower kind of, kind of becomes alert. He tosses his cigarette onto the ground, um, takes a much more active posture, readjusts the rifle, and kind of like peers out into the lot and looks like he's watching Amber as she's going. Uh, Amber, there's eyes on you. Doctor, should I take the shot? Hey, might as well. Do, 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 do. Which one is it? There's so many guns. It's the bottom one. Here we go. The bottom. Do, do, do. Because I'm, like, keeping eyes, do I get, like, a plus two for, like, aiming for so long? Um, that is actually a thing. So that would be, I think, considered <clears throat> total attack. I really should use the uh, search feature instead of using the book, but I am already here. Do I get that plus two for aiming for so long? I'm I'm thinking it's actually a plus three, but I might be incorrect. So okay, I'll take a three. Oh. Aiming is a plus two. No sorry. There so for as each, well. So for each full turn that your character spends aiming, you gain a plus two aim bonus to your attack roll up to a maximum of plus four. So you can actually take the full plus four because you've yes. sat here for a long time. His head is in your crosshairs. His the between his eyes is in my crosshairs actually, but you know where those sunglasses meet his nose. Just you know. Okay. Go ahead and make your. That's a silent shot too. 
He doesn't see that one coming. Zigzag. Your drone has a perfect visual of this red spray exit the back of the guy's head as he just topples backwards. Um, nothing else happens. You know, it's fine. I didn't notice it. I heard it. I didn't notice it. I'm busy looking through my iPod. <laughs> hey, Tori. I'm trying to find the right song. So um, I made wonderful use of this gun, and I think I need to hand it back to you because it's a little too big for what we're going to be doing, but I'll take the shotgun. I don't Ooh. know if I have a shotgun. It's in the back. If you don't have my shotgun. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Tori has a shotgun. No, I keep all my long guns like with him when I'm not That's using fair. them, and they would have been in the car. Yeah. Yeah, you gave him the single shot, thirty out six from the cultist. That's funny. Okay. Um... No, I I told him to give that one to Amber. He's like, you know, you know how like you have like a storage that has guns in it. Yeah. And you know where you keep them. Mm-hmm. Tori is my gun storage. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so. And reloader. We are going to visit with Morthos, and I want to kind of go over what happened with you. So, uh, Morthos, do you have your character sheet open by any chance? Uh, no, but I, I can. If we can start off with a supernatural lore check for you, please. Do, 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 do. This is um, basically the start of the day on the fifth day so this is basically 24 hours ago just about or i guess that's more like 12 hours or something like that so you Man. have yeah you so first off i guess let's kind of backtrack because you actually missed the last section i think you don't you've never seen zigzag's character but in no i have not so in game you morthos has um there was the the shipment job where it was like the convoy in russia um uh-huh. There was a mysterious voice or a hacker who contacted Quantum Black, like your team, and basically rerouted the Russian convoy so you could go in and sneak attack it. And it was he was instrumental in kind of bringing it to its knees. And then from there, uh, once you had dealt with the the convoy, a spider team came in to mop up the mountain pass where all the like, big cargo ship or cargo trucks and stuff were. And they wound up just blowing the whole mountain pass apart. And you almost got hit by that. Um, and then Zigzag's van was blown up by that. He wound up and ended up joining Quantum Black. He was actually But Jess's expert out. driving and stealth saved your butt. Ooh. Uh, we were hiding in the trees. And when the doctors blew up the truck, it drew the spider's attention away just long enough for Jess to drive out of the area to a like, different location. And spiders turned back around and shot at where we once were. So narrowly getting uh, escaped from that uh, being blown up thing. Um, Zigzag has been wanting to join Quantum Black apparently. So he was, ass- he, you guys brought him in. He was assigned to your team because you're the ones who quote recruited him unquote. And so over the last five days, he went out and got like a new van, but you don't really know him too well. Um, but that's Zigzag. Um, well, I assumed Morthos was pretty much just kind of staying in his room, going over his new spells with his iPad and stuff that he had acquired, and transferred them all into your spell grimoire. Um, but is there anything else I'm you want? Is there anything else you wanted to have done over the first four days of your break? Otherwise, you just kind of regain uh... all of your sanity, health, all that stuff. <laughs> Cause I uh totally um. Also, in case you missed it, Amber did bring you a book. Yeah, I saw that in the. Right, so. And then was kind of out of it again. I forgot to check like the emails and oh. whatnot. Um, no worries. I don't think there is anything. Really don't worry, cool. half the time Jess doesn't find it worth replying to anyway, so it probably wasn't that big of a deal. Okay, um, here, there was this one. That's the only one that would be important for you to have known. Yeah. Um, so, 
so... Okay, and I just noticed there was an, an update on the Amos one, because I forgot to look back at that one. <laughs> um, so, nothing, nothing in particular, you know, he's uh, studying on occulty things, maybe occasionally trying to be sociable with the team, so he's not mm -hmm. just that awkward, quiet guy. <laughs> so, um, with that... Um, the book that Amber gave you is almost all like um, Roman history, almost like when the Roman Empire was expanding, they were kind of conquering over the Gauls and stuff, and there was a, such, a chapter which Amber had thought looked interesting, where it was about the Druids uh, in Gaul, and it's almost as if they were describing spells, even though there's no actual data for what it was. Uh, Amber thought it was cool and gave it to Morthos, so... Morthos, uh, you would know. Um, actually, I'll have you roll another supernatural lore check. This is for some. This is for the book specifically. Okay. So you would recognize this that um, in your previous dealings with like the cult and whatnot. Um, this actually is definitely describing ritual magics. Uh, which you could probably learn if you spent some time researching or going to like locations that might have it, whether it's libraries or old wizard type characters, people who might be into the occultists, basically. So you have that lead. And on the fifth day in the morning, um, you hear something in your mind. And it's a voice of somebody that you recognize. Um, it's Amos's vo voice, and he invites you telepathically to come out and meet him at the li uh, the library in Portland, which isn't too far away from where your safe house is. Hey, you're spooky. Would you go out and follow? Yes. Okay. Um, roll perception. I should really just leave my character sheet open at some point. So this is also like super early in the morning, by the way. So that's perfect because as soon as you step out of the safe house, go down towards uh, the, the sidewalk where you can catch the bus, a bag is thrust over your head from behind and you are immediately like knocked out. Like you feel something get injected into you and you Oof. just fade. You don't know what happens for the next couple hours, but when you come to, um, you're sitting in an apartment building. Let me change screens. And actually, I forgot I was going to use this screen, so one second. Let me uh, clear all this. So, Morthos, you are here sitting on the couch standing in front of you are a couple different um basically like guard security guys and then there's a, a cultist in front of you or not even a cultist like he's dressed in a suit um but he's very crisp haircut looks very like attentive to his own outfit like everything's spick and span and he leans over and he says, Ah, you're awake. Uh, uh, who are you? I'm Edward. I'm going to be your best friend. And you're going to help me. Uh, uh, uh huh. And, and what is it I'm helping you with exactly? You're going to help us perform a ritual, my friend. And he's going to lean over and I can with a he takes out a knife and cuts the zip ties around your wrist so you're free he stands up now look your own buddies they track you and he points at the t coffee table where uh there's a tracking device and uh, doctor what does that look like is that like an injected tracking device or what does it look like oh yeah it looks like something that like would just like be like injected like through a needle like during like a blood draw and like it is hollow so that it like goes and slips into the vein but then does not block the vein so 
uh, your own comrades did this to you. I don't know if you uh, want to still hang out with them. You're free to leave at the end of the ritual if you wish, but we need your expertise. Um, I, I can help, but yeah, they're, uh, I work with them and uh, they're my friends, so I, I would like to go back. Well, like I said, you're welcome to go back after tonight. And then you notice that there's two standing robots, uh, which kind of come down. You recognize these from the, sh the your job that you did for Green on the in uh, California. This uh, these are like android cyberbots, and they're armed with uh, weapons. They're holding guns. Um, okay. But the guy uh, offers a hand and says, "We're gonna make history." Doing what exactly? Revealing to the world the magic that exists. Um, how? Like, specifically how, though? When intelligence systems has come across information on a new spell that we would like to try, but it's very powerful and it needs to be done tonight at the height of the moon and it needs to be done with people who know how to cast these spells i'm still learning as much as i can and i'll participate as well but we need casters we need you um do you have a copy of the spell that i could look over yes if you're in uh, he's still extending well, his hand um yeah, I feel like he doesn't have a choice, <laughs> really. So he'll go to no. shake his hand and be like, "Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll help you." Okay. Um. So he shakes your hand, lets you stand up. You're unbound at this point. However, the two guards seem to kind of stone step over and usher you towards the door. Um. Roll perception check as he leans over to one of them. Um, you can just hear him whispering to the second guard there, and he says something about uh, keep them active. And then um, the guy steps down to go do something with the robots, and you're escorted out of the apartment building. The scene changes as another Whee! couple hours uh, pass, but you are taken to the church. And actually, I'm just going to leave these tokens here because they're on the next page already. Um you are taken to the church it's uh not quite dusk it's probably like six o'clock though um so kind of end of the day sun's still kind of low in the sky it's still warm out and you are brought inside to where there's kind of a, a group of people gathering and on the inside of the church uh, you see uh, a bunch of other people you pass by, there's a bunch of armed guards, there's a couple more of those robot guards in the foyer, and as you're brought forwards uh, into the next room, you can see uh, with your your talent and ability, you can actually see that there's a couple people here who are, like you saw in Russia, there's a, because I didn't make new tokens, there's a pig man and a wolf man. So say there's pig people? Yes. Well, and uh, a wolf man, fancy. And... Because Morthos is already on the inside, I'm not going to worry about, like, spoilers or anything. Here's the inside of the church. Spoilies! I can't believe you've spoiled this entire thing for us. Okay. So, <laughs> Morthos, so you're ushered into a, a circle here. Um, and you can see all of these people in the suits. Actually, I really used the wrong tokens. They're supposed to be uh, the guys with sunglasses were the guards and the suits were they. That's, I, I'm going to change this around. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the cultist ones can change. They're duplicating you guys. There's a problem. <laughs> They're multiplying. Oh no, we're really in a simulation. Our lives are a lie. I mean, I was going to say aliens, but... Okay. Actually, no, those, those guys up there are suits. Sorry. 
Sorry, I didn't quite uh, arrange this properly. I forgot where I put them all. It's fine. You can go ahead and take as many tokens away as you need to. Nice. And then go ahead and take a f and then take a few more as There's well. Still one culty guy. Oh man. Or if you could just pack them all into like one area, that'd be that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, that that's ideal for sure. Okay, so this is kind of what you're brought in. And then in the center, you can see that there is kind of drawn out in chalk in the circle there, this spiraling, um, what looks to be like a never ending snowflake print. Like if you zoom in, it just keeps becoming the same shape. What are those called? I forget. But you know what? It's like, um, anyways, there's a drawing on the floor. Um, it's so, a shape. Yeah, it's definitely. It's a shape. Definitely something you can roll another occult check for if you wish. Find out what shape it actually check. is. <laughs> yes. There's a name for it. I can't remember what it is. It's like the never ending uh, shape. What is it called? Is it a fractal. It's a fractal. Um, but everybody kind of in this circle around you, um, nobody says anything, but they look around. There seems to be people from different um, walks of life. There's, you know, very rough people like the pair across from me. They look like they were maybe gang members at some point. Um, you see people uh, around you. Actually, uh, you would recognize one of these guys as someone from the Cult of Morthai. However, Ooh. it's not Amos. Oh. Um, I know you don't have a picture for him, so I'll just give him, like, a color. He can be yellow. But he looks at you and kind of like his eyes widen as he recognizes you. But nobody's saying anything. It's oddly quiet here. Eerie silence. For the next couple hours, the main guy, Edward, begins to go over the ritual with all of those presents. Uh, and it um, is... Sorry, can the main guy get a marking too? Yeah, I will. How about I give him the cult picture? Because... You'll have a special cultist token. He actually will be the robed guy. Dude, Probably gross. You're going to derobe him? <laughs> <laughs> there. That's, that's the main guy. How about that? Yay. So, um, he is going over what the spell is and what it's supposed to achieve. Um, it is a portal spell, which, Morthos, you actually know a lot of kind of what he's talking about at first. However, he talks about it in a much grander scale. Like, this is the test uh, that they'll be able to do to see if it's feasible to do um, planet-wide transportation and eventually space travel, setting up uh, bases on, like, the moon and stuff like that. And he's getting animated as he's describing these potential uses for this spell that they've either created or discovered and the people around seem to be interested but the the two guys across from me especially are a little bit like wary of what he's doing um but you can tell right. he's very like uh animated about it and at this point the guard from upstairs comes down and joins uh the hall uh, he takes a seat and just starts like watching what's going on. Um, now, eventually, he's gone over the spell with you. Do you wish to? Uh, he's he basically says it's time to begin the the summoning, or not the summoning the um the ritual. And with that, everybody around begins to start doing the incantation. Does Morthos participate? Can can he pretend? Um, you can. <laughs> If you wish to pretend, you like move your lips or, but don't. I feel like if you just flat out did nothing, this would go pretty bad. Cause I'm assuming these people were smart enough to like take his stuff from him. Um, so you they took away weapons. You still have your grimoire. They didn't take that. They assumed that you would want to help like draw upon that as a, a source of some of like your um 
there's no material components requirements but you're supposed to have a sympathetic link which is something kind of in common with it so a lot of the times right. you might keep that type of stuff in your book um okay but if you want to pretend that's going to be a con check okay let me um investigate um what where is that at Oh, there it is. Um, let me see. Um, I'm gonna... <sighs> Hold on. Things are not working. My laptop's having a fit. It's great. Um, I would like to throw a, a style point into it because I don't get, like, plus anything. Okay. So, so that Whoa. is going to be... Let's see. That's a one... Um, they, as you kind of begin to like mutter your lips, but not actually saying anything and not participating, and you can see the kind of what they're doing is very similar to a portal spell from what you've been learning about. It looks like they're on the right track for something. However, when you don't partic particularly um, engage with what they're doing, one of these guards um, goes up to you and kind of leans over to from behind with your, to the next to your ear and whispers get a move on lad and you hear uh, or you sorry you feel the muzzle of a handgun poked up against your back uh, okay then i will um at what point can we come in the back door and start shooting people um not yet uh then i guess in fear for my life i would start to actually participate I will need you to roll a ritual magic check. Now, because of the ley lines, it's, uh, it's still not quite dusk, so it is not super impacted yet. Um, but if you remember your email, you can feel kind of reaching out and starting to, to cast this thaumaturgy spell. Um, you can tell that it is potent and especially as the moon comes up um your magic is going to get very powerful tonight that being said um go ahead and roll your ritual magic with a plus two jeebus and uh you kind of synchronize it with the next uh group um the leader of the cults begins to say that yes yes keep it going we must keep doing this until nightfall don't break at least not at the same time. Only two people can stop chanting at a time, and then then we'll get back and harmonize together, and we shall open this portal. And uh, the guy backs off and kind of like is hanging around behind you because now he doesn't really think so. And that actually happens over here too. And they uh, call another person up here to kind of monitor everybody else. They reassign positions for some of these things. Uh, everybody at the top here are just taking furious notes they're not actually chanting these top six, including the boss guy. So with five successes, you can feel the spell beginning to kind of take hold. It's going to take a lot of chanting for what they're trying to do. And the more people that participate, the better. However, um, the hour passes. Do you, do, do you continue on after the first hour? Begrudgingly. <laughs> Okay, go ahead take and... a break take a break oh wait i could take a break i didn't know if that was it's an you... option because it's no your turn was yeah nobody has but what do you do um they said two people can take a break at a time and no one's taking a break take a break they didn't say when i'm trying not to get shot here um yeah, i guess i'll inquire like take a break be like you know wow this is this is a lot we've been we've been going at it a bit like need to okay go ahead and roll a diplomacy check oh geez request some water and then say <laughs> the, the water tastes stale you need fresh water and then ask for some juice and if they have like a hamburger or like some pizza <laughs> maybe a salad would be better or for you know okay um yeah. so you ask for the break um the guard right behind you looks to the leader edward 
and Edward nods and he says, "All right, you can have five minutes, but you can't go anywhere." Um, the <laughs> Wolfman guy, who nobody else seems to be able to see, he looks human to everyone else, but um, he also asks for a break, and you both are on break. Um, after about five minutes, they put you back into the the chant. And meanwhile, the party is just about right now leaving the warehouse, having sp uh, spoken with Green, gotten like the robots shifted off to, to Green's sidekick guy, and um, you're all putting together your plan to get back to the church to rendezvous with Jess, who's been left staking out outside. So, as you're all beginning to get into position, the next hour is going to pass again. And so now it's about 7.30, 8 o'clock. The sun's starting to go down. I need uh, Morthos to roll another ritual magic check, this time at a plus four. Oh, Jeebus. Can you roll it with disadvantage using style points? And you could if you wanted to by, again, kind of the style being to not do it right type thing. <laughs> So I feel like right. that would be more uh, of a con check. So I don't uh, know. If you want to, we'll say yes. Uh, you start at, adding in your own incantations to like prevent stuff and like change it and warp it. Just like saying my dominoes order in Latin or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you get a sound for that. That's hilarious. That's funny. Oh, but I threw I threw two, so I could do it at a at a plus two instead of a plus four. Yeah, you you could um if I gave you the third style point because of that. If you want, you can use that too. I if might, you want, I might need it for something. Okay, so yeah, so you can roll it at a plus Seeing two. Seeing as how style points kept me alive that one time. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. What was that? It was uh, four successes. Okay. So you begin to like half-assed chant a little bit for pretty close to the next hour. Is there anything else you want to do before we cut to the other team? Or the rest of the team? Uh, not right this moment. Trying to like play it safe. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you so, need to go to the bathroom because you just drank water. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to try to do one more con check or something to try to get out of this? Yeah, like, because I was hoping the break would, would do that. Like, they would let me move somewhere. So, yeah, let's... Yeah, um, you instead of conning, you can roll diplomacy again, because that's kind of more of a real excuse type thing, rather than just, like, faking stuff. It, like, bluffing? Yeah. So you can uh, try... You to... haven't gone to the bathroom since you've gotten knocked out, like, how many days ago? <laughs> Dude, it's been like 17 hours. <laughs> okay. The guy just kind of like through his sunglasses that's kind of shielding his actual eyes. You can just tell stone faced he's not letting you out of the circle. And um, with nine successes so far, you can see the uh, chalk lines on the ground beginning to almost swirl. And you can see opening from the ground. Um, that's maybe not the right circular token, but that works for now. Um, you can see a portal beginning to open, and it's like swirling almost like it is a picture of the Earth, but it kind of changes occasionally to like space and stars and kind of like rotating and, and glimmering. Up on the bell tower, whoosh, bang, the guy drops down dead. Amber, you're still kind of moving to the towards the car. You hear the green light um, from Jess saying he's down. What do you all do? I take my gun and I bring it to Tori. I take the shotgun and I start walking towards the back door of the church. Okay. So you're just strutting towards it? Mm-hmm. Stealthily. As to not, like, overly stand out, but I'm not, like... Okay uber so like go, go slow ahead and about it stealth at a minus two i'm sure that's not going to really affect you with your stealth <laughs> do, 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 do. minus two yeah 
Backstage. And then um, everybody else, Amber, Zigzag, Ambrose, what do y'all do? I think that's the worst stealth I ever had, but yeah. Okay. All right, you, you start I, moving uh, up towards the door. I finally pick a song, uh, and it is Mr. Blue Sky. Nice. And I get back to doing my good old eyes in the sky. Realistically, can I can I retcon a previous thing and say that I'm like two blocks back? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So you want to be away from the stuff. I'm away. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, for your drone, what are you having your drone do? The eyes in the sky. Um, any? I mean, I doubt my drone can see through like stained glass windows. No, no, it can't see through the stained glass windows, but if you want to explore with it at all anywhere else, or you have any other yeah, ideas. I, wanna... I made yeah, a hole I've... in the upper window, you know. Oh, that was open bell tower. Oh. I mean, I yeah, I'll send the drone to investigate the bell tower now that it's quote-unquote safe. Okay. So as you have it descend down the bell tower... I oh will... god i'm not sending it down the bell tower i wanted to investigate the top of the bell tower oh my my sorry i misunderstood so yeah you get up no, there it's not going indoors you can see um there's a fold-out chair uh knocked over now the body blood still spilling out of the central hole in his forehead um the sniper rifle looks to be fairly uh, military grade it looks to be a pretty decent upgrade if you wanted to swap out but I think Tor, like Tori has that single shot one. If you wanted to, like, you could take it if you can get up there. Um, but there's apart from the hatch going down, there's nothing, nothing else of interest up there. Just the dead guy in his okay. bag. I yeah, I I definitely you know come over comms and be like, uh, bell tower is clear. These guys are looking kind of military. They got some grade A firepower. Do they have body armor? They have body armor. Um, I would say that, yeah, you can see that this guy uh, does have body armor. Whoa, what do you know? They got body armor. Called shirts are how much, Adrian? Minus two? Uh, for a called shot, targeting specific locations uh, is a minus one up to a minus eight, depending on where you're trying to shoot. It's a head. Uh, head is a minus four. Mm. Depending on the body armor, a head might be a good shot to go for. Okay. So, uh, Jess, you're up at the front door. Uh, doctor and Tori? Uh, doc doctor back door, Adrian. I specified back door. Oh, you want to go for back door? You back door. I go in the back door. T? Um... Okay, um, let me move the map. You tell me where is uh, the back door you want to go to. This um, one. since the parking this lot. This one. Or this one. Since the parking lot was on this side. Yep. Did the Team Corbidet see anything like out of the normal in the parking lot other than that one car? Nope, which uh, Amber is still going up to, so. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. She'll probably go through the cemetery just because she feels like there would be less eyes on her going that way versus through the parking lot. So, so, unless... Okay, Adrian. Hmm? Which one is a shorter distance? This where, one or this one? From where you're at? You're at basically, yes. like, here-ish. But from, like, across the street at, like, the bus stop or whatever. Okay, yeah, she'll go in this one. If it's closer. So you're gonna go up here? Yeah, she's willing to go to the back door because, like, tactically that's where you go. But it doesn't make a difference. 
which back door she thinks, because she doesn't know. So she's going to pick the one that's closer to her. Okay, so you start moving your way across, which means you're passing the parking lot, which is a great segue to Amber. What are you doing? Um... Oh, my token disappeared. Did it? E. Uh, oh my goodness. Are you under a van? He was no. run over very tragically. I was when you changed window, I was actually holding on to it. Oh, that's so strange. I'll just recopy one second. It's like lost to the void now. You were sucked in. There you go. Are you? Oh. Um. What were you gonna do, Amber? I think Amber's still muted. Oh. Um. Well, I have an idea. Realize no one's gonna I like it. I just realized I've been talking this entire time, but I was muted. Oh, oh yeah, dude. we haven't heard you for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to say that should be trying to check the back of the van. Okay. But you can go ahead and I roll just uh, investigation. That I was needed. Yeah. Uh, she'd have her gun at the ready, checking the back of the van. Uh, I was trying to say that maybe have Jess before she goes all the way around back to like help unlock it if it's locked. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Sure. If you, you'd walking me that, I'd be, like, heading over to you. Yeah. She would, like, have, just, like, stop just before she goes all the way back to save her well, that if, time. If you told me early enough, I would have brought you your gun if you requested it. Did you want your yeah. gun? Sure. Okay, yeah, she'll bring you your gun, too. Two birds, because one stone. Being able to silently uh, pick the enemies off before the fireworks start. That's more realistically how big the van is. Okay, so um, Amber, you get up to the van, and kind of nothing's happened so far. What do you do? You call for Jess to come over. Yeah, she's you, going to have just wait for him. Her. Yeah. Um, uh, she will. Wait for Jess, and when she'll like receive the sniper in her drag knob, and uh, she will get ready with the rifle, and, like getting ready to aim at anyone who might be in the van, and have Jess open the door if she uh, she would. Okay. What about uh, Doctor Desdemona? Because as uh, they're basically holding, okay. waiting for. So, the doctor is just going to go to the back of the church. Can I get the church map again? Yes, I'll copy your token. Oops. That was a mistake. There you are. Where do you want to be? Uh, about right here. You want to go to this portion? Yeah, I want to be, like, right here. So the doctor's like looking at this and he's like, so I, I don't, I, I, I just don't even want to like deal with anything and I want to like get Morthos back. So I'm going to try to be as unpredictable as possible and I'm going to set uh, two uh, C4 charges, one on each side of here. Okay, I will say you don't have line of sight on the inside, but you can still do that. You just technically don't know what's behind. What's well, on the other end? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you're gonna your plan just blow apart the back of the church. So yeah, you yeah. can uh, roll demolitions for that, please. All right. As soon as you said you were back there, I knew what you were thinking, and I'm like, I love it. I absolutely love it. You should have known the moment I was like, I have an idea, but it's not the best idea. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to spend three style points on this. Oh, I don't shit. think I heard that. 
I just want to see things explode. Okay. Um, hold on. Cancel. So get rid of the style point. Boosh, 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 boosh. And then... Um, where is that again? Okay, there it is. Hey, Adrian. Yeah. Which one is the shotgun? Oh, oh no, it's right now. I see it, I see it. We're good. That's fine. Okay. I have four successes. Okay, so you plant the charges, uh, one, then the other. Um, Jess arrives at the van next to Amber. What do you both do? Larsuri. Amber the has door. her rifle at the ready to shoot anyone inside with quietness. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. Let's see that Larsery check first. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Sorry. I have small screens. I have to click back and forth, and I don't have a mouse pad, so I'm using my blanket. Okay, that's enough. So, Jess opens the door. You see uh, two people on the inside of a van, along with... Mr. Robot standing up in, yeah. on the side. Um, the door kind of opens. Amber, you have a clear shot at both of these. There's two guys at computers kind of back almost towards each other, but they're like typing fiercely away at something. What do you do? Silent Dragnov. Can I spend a style point? and say that I have my Beretta handgun out and mm -hmm. shoot one of them? Oh, you don't have to spend a south point. You would all be, like, weapons ready at this point. Perfect. You can spend a style point, though, if you want. I'm just looking at I'll spend a style point on are... shooting one of them. Anyone remember right off the top of your head, defense is dexterity plus body, right? That's your base mm -hmm. for your defense? Yeah, I believe so. Okay, so it'll be four. And you're shooting I'm shooting at the right? robot because they annoy me. Okay. Unless so, you have like calculated defense. Yeah. So um, the dragon off goes. Whoosh, uh, the recoil hitting your shoulder, spent shell goes flying up into the air to clatter off on the pavement somewhere far away from you. Um, the guy gets hit in the shoulder and almost topples off of his seat, uh, but he is up. In surprise. Uh, Jess, you take a shot at the robot? Yeah. Let's see. Mm. These guys have really good defense. It bugs me. Are you using your shotgun or your handgun? My handgun. I wouldn't have okay. the shotgun. Actually, so. I think it would be better to use the shotgun, Adrian. Well, Sorry, I've been watching did... Quantum Black videos. I did do the Beretta. You did do the Beretta. <laughs> yeah. So you were probably going for sil silence. Uh, unless you want to burn your final style point, then I'll let you reroll it. But without the third style point and just spend it, I'll let you retcon that for one point. Otherwise, the bullet from your your pistol ricochets no, off of I its think... armor. Yeah, she's gonna do the uh, the silenced one. It makes more sense to do that because we haven't hopefully informed the inside of uh, our presence. Okay. I would have shot the guy because I could shut down the robot. Oh, that's yeah. a good point. That's a good point. Can I write con it and say I shot the guy instead? For the cost of a stop point, I will let you. Yes, uh, I'm doing it. If you would be the same roll though, so I'll roll the guy's defense instead. It would be the same roll. The wounded guy takes the headshot and just topples completely out of the chair onto the floor. Um, meanwhile, Doctor Desdemona, you hear on the comms, um, or do what does Amber and Jess say if anything, or do you just kind of roll right into like taking more shots? Two guys in the car and a bot. We're taking them down. Go ahead, Doctor. Inform them of our presence. Not yet. Let me. The fact that they've got a robot here means they probably have some inside. Oh, and most definitely. The car looks very high tech, so maybe I can uh, 
hijack their robots and use them against them. Yeah, that's a good point because we just got all the information for the robots, so yeah. Does Mundo yes, will say over the comms? Uh, well, here, I can give us a window. I'll give us a view in. Might be a little bit easier for you guys to hack them if you guys can see them. That's oh, a good wow. point. Can the robot see from hacking through uh, doorways? Um, what, the drone? Yeah. Yeah, the drone can uh, boost the signal. Um... We also have their vehicle here. If we just take out the guys, we can get zigzag it up here. I can shut down the robot on the car. Good point. Okay. So both of you roll initiative for me, Amber and Jess. Um, and do you then... mind if I just do it and you... Well, actually, do you want me to... Do you just want me to roll for you? No, it's just I have to scroll over and try to find my token, and it's oh, a pain, I, and then fine. I have I to can, go to the other I screen. Can, I can add them. It's no worries. Okay. Okay, you so you... It. I'll just roll. So you both go oh, first again before their okay. initiative, so... Um, I will just take the shot first on this guy. Yeah, I'm for sure shooting him in the face. Well, the, the I'm human... saying it's in the face, but I'm not doing a called shot, yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Bam. In the face. Wow, I keep doing, typing it backwards. Oh my goodness. That was a really bad shot. Um, he he like, ducks down under behind the chair, and you shoot through the chair into him, but he and he yelps, but uh, he's still up. Uh, and then Amber. Oh, uh, well, I will t will take this guy out first, and then worry about the robots. Okay. Are we all rolling in this? Do I need to do I need to roll? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, we're about to cut back to the church scene. Yeah, th this guy. We're just silencing the guys. You don't headshot him; you chest shot him. But it's still like blood sprays all over the back, computers and stuff, the screens, and he's just he's down. Um, before we proceed, unless uh, doctor, if, are you wanting to pull the trigger on your C4? Uh, yeah, he would like to step away from that area a, a, a quite a bit. Okay. Um, go around the corner, like okay. probably like go over around like here okay. and if jess jess isn't here right no Justin's she's, she's over by the van yeah i just put her token on okay sweet, so, sweet 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 I, I didn't want like too much collateral you know what i mean um so yeah uh, i'm gonna like step over here and then just be like knock knock and then hit the button okay so as this is happening and as before you click it i do want morthos inside you are still chanting um You've got the gun kind of pressed up against your back still as this guy is not really liking you. And you can see there's a couple others. The pig man across has the same thing, a guard up in his ear. Um, and then everybody else is kind of more compliantly doing their ritual. Um, do you do anything or are you going to roll another ritual magic? This at a plus six as you feel your power oh, growing. Shit. I mean, I'm going to gonna play along and I'll, you know... Hope, hope someone comes to my rescue soon enough. Okay, and then um, everybody rolled initiatives on the other page. One, I'm gonna clear it once we get to this church map. But for now, everybody has a three so far. Um, if I can also have you roll an initiative, Morthos. Oh, yeah, I just closed out my character sheet. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Do you if you um. This kid? One thing you can do is uh, double click the top of your character sheet and it minimizes it. <gasps> oh, that's so nifty. Yeah, I remember learning that in a different game and I was like, holy smokes. So nine, so you are at 16 successes. And at this point you can also roll a supernatural lore check. Lord. Okay. 
Um, yeah, that's uh, you can tell that the spell seems to be getting closer and closer to being completed. You reckon you don't have to do this till midnight. It's, it's almost nightfall, and you think that your magic, with the ley lines being so powerful over this site, you should be able to complete this spell, whatever it is. But you also have a weird feeling about it. I will say that much, even with the two. Oof. So, uh, in the chat, um, could you sense the magic blood in the vial? No, there are limits. No, to that. It, it, yeah. And so the blood would not uh, even, like, you, Morthos, would not be able to sense that even if you were right next to each other. It does not fall within the realm of what he can sense. Um, Brave. But as you can see, this. Um, oh, hold on. I think I need to add you still to the turn order. Please. So you rolled a three. So okay. everybody has a three initiative. So that's easy enough. <sighs> cool. Alrighty. The bombs go off. The C4 shatters the entire wall of the this front piece of the cathedral. Um, Dr. Desdemona, C4, I believe, does four, correct? Do you have that noted on your character sheet? I don't recall. Um let me see real quick. It's a good stretch. In. So C4 does. Yep, four lethal damage. Um, that is going to blow up that whole section of the wall. I don't believe they get to roll an actual save. I forget what we talked about. Um, but yeah, boom, boom, boom. The All these guys get caught in the explosion of glass, shrapnel, um, wall pieces. This guy gets knocked down, but he is not dead, actually. Big surprise. But the other guys are all dead with four huh. uh, damage to each of them. They're, they're down. Um, this guy falls prone from the explosion. But he is, yeah, still needs to get up. Uh, everybody else is unharmed, but boom, everything erupts into uh, flame glass and everything goes crazy. Back outside, um, the robot swivels around um, and lifts up a handgun and squeezes the trigger and shoots at Amber with a uh, multi-fire as it's a machine pistol. And so it goes... Hurt. Oh, Adrian, we have company. Okay. How about a break, everybody? <laughs> yep, sounds good. All right. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, we Get will some return food, use the bathroom. just a little bit. Amber is very happy she wore her special armor. <laughs> that gives her a plus four to defense. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll your defense right now. I'll do the uh, attack on you real quick. Oh.
So now we are back. Um, at least I think everyone's back. Actually, I haven't done a roll call, but just in the interest of time. Um, so the robot in the back of the van pulls out what looks to be like a fully auto, um, like a modified Glock or something, and just pulls the trigger and just bullets spray out of the barrel. Amber dodges, uh, takes maybe a bullet into the vest, which no damage or anything. He rolled two successes on 14 dice. So, Amber, you take no damage, and it's the top of the round, as that's the only um, thing that happens on that turn. So, everybody goes on initiative three, so you can choose whoever wants to go first, whether just Amber, uh, Doctor, Zigzag. I have the highest dexterity. I would like to go last. <laughs> Amber would like to shut down the robot. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, go for it. You have quick draw, so you can kind of drop a hand to your belt, pull out your uh, screwdriver, your sonic And screwdriver. we have the kill code for these things. Okay, so you will get to add a plus four on top of your dice with that. So that's um, your screwdriver, which is required to be able to do this without a computer interface hooked into it. Um, that bypasses it having the artifact. So you get plus two, plus four, so a uh, total of plus six to your electronics. Yep. Six. Okay. Uh, then it will roll. Ooh, it rolled a good to resist the attempt. However, uh, it is almost hacked. It takes three points of equivalent of sanity damage, uh, and then it is Jess, I presume, or. Yeah, Amber, you got this. I got this. I take off towards the doctor. Yeah, you hear an explosion <laughs> ringing in the background. So you can take your full turn to kind of run over there, uh, and then we'll, yep, we'll move do that. to the next map. Um, Zigzag, anything from you? Um, I'll let the doc go next, and then I'll go. Amber will basically tell Zigzag to start heading over this direction. She might have a new band for him. Okay. Um, Dr. Desdemona? Oh, yeah, uh, I'm not on the right map. Oh, sorry. Not to move over? Sorry. Not a problem. So Jess is running right. full um, team towards you. Okay, um, I'm going to kind of, like, step up over here. Now, there is a hole right here, right? Yeah. Basically, the okay. entire wall has been shattered. There's two sections here, which are a little bit more shattered and accessible versus the others kind of like cracked broken wall and stuff in the middle but the whole thing there's right. a there's a huge gap around the whole arc okay uh i'm going can i see this guy um from the inside uh he's on the ground i would say you probably don't have line of sight on him so much uh, unless you're going to move right up to it in which case then yeah you can kind of look in through the rebel and you can see what's going on Okay, um, I don't think I can get much closer than here. Oh, with your movie going around? Um, yeah. So I'd say, no, you know that there's like the door here, a side door, and then there's all the broken glass and stuff. Roll a perception check. And we'll see if you can kind of look through. Because uh, it's straight ahead, and because there's that opening there, you might actually be able to see him. Uh, three. Okay, so yeah, you can see the shape of the bodies on the ground with kind of glass shards and broken, like, drywall and everything over them. You can just see one of the guys uh, on the ground, but and he looks to be, like, stirring like he's about to get up. Um, so yeah, you can actually see him. Okay, um, can I do what is known as a pro gamer move? <laughs> what do you have in mind? shooting this guy with constant <laughs> yes can i give him like one of my style points and say <laughs> pro gamer move you may and we'll say that the drone kind of comes up behind him to get the perfect shot of recording this hell yeah and that's your style point you could throw at him put the doctor to watch again later instant replay slow motion Six. Okay. This guy has. Okay. 
that I used it. Um, there is an explode. Oh, I don't even think I did that right because he wasn't supposed to add um, his dexterity. It was just body only. Technically, he is dead body. Yeah. So there is a secondary explosion as he is incinerated along with everything kind of around him, blown apart. Um, and then just the empty tube of your launcher is just smoking a little bit from the the launch. But yeah, it's incinerated. This guy, which uh, Morthos knew to be named Edward, has been demolished. Uh, I'm going to like attempt to like start getting into the reload as i guess that would be my turn okay perfect uh zigzag yeah so what time of day is it it's like 8 p.m sundown has just happened so everything's kind of like overcast dark sky mm -hmm. and two very loud explosions just rang out yep one of them you got on video <laughs> yeah that's gonna be a uh, replayed in slow motion several times over um, can I do like, you know, my, with my, my laptop, can I like do a scan of like, you know, the, like police scanners, see if there's anything like activity, like surely people have heard a giant explosion. Yeah. Go ahead and roll a, this would be an electronics check. I'd say, uh, to be able to get onto the radio waves and stuff. <laughs> I wonder if you could, like, put in, like, false inputs or something. Yeah, you basically ha get into, like, the phone line systems and you kind of hook into the police mainframe and you can start hearing, like, the different 911 calls of, like, reports of seeing smoke coming out of the church after an explosion. Um, so there's a cut. There's multiple people dialing to, to the police. What would you like to do? The phone lines. Yeah, I want to try and cut it. Okay. Um, yeah. Roll a computer's check. Sure thing. For this, I will roll. Uh, I will just let you get a straight smoke check. Ah, no. Okay. Um, the line seems to go dead. Of the the call that was in the middle talking about like there's smoke coming from the church and they're like oh, okay what's the address and then it goes click <laughs> okay so I I could hold the cops off for a while but people are gonna start noticing this okay so that is I think everybody but Morthos uh, Morthos the entire wall and kind of off to your right just explodes in flame as glass shards and just chunks of ceiling starts to collapse down everybody in the group kind of flinches ducks down and uh, uh, the ritual seems to be broken for a moment uh what do you do um yes let me <laughs> spells <laughs> um hmm Um, uh, so, um, assuming that the dude behind me still has, like, the, the, the gun to me and such. Um, you can tell, um, but yeah, he's behind you. His attention's on the gaping hole in the church now. Um, okay, just because I think that the spell sounds really cool... I, I would like to attempt to cast Breath of the Deep on that guy. Okay. Sure. So, describe kind of like how yeah. you do this. You need a sympathetic link, but he's standing right in front of you. So that could just simply be that you're looking at him at this close up. Um, you can use that, essentially. You don't need to have like a fingernail or, or hair or something from him. Um, you can just kind of look at him at this point-blank range. Um, so, 
just go ahead and tell me kind of how you begin casting this spell. You have your your grimoire in your hand already from this other ritual that was going on. Um, yes. But go ahead and roll uh, ritual magic. You can add plus six to this spell. Woo! I'm gonna be so helpful. Okay. <laughs> And now I need to see what his um, willpower is. It's a three. Okay. So what 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 does Morthos do to cast this spell? As you kind of like spin around to see him. He's looking over at where the doctor is about yes. to come to. He dramatically looks at him and um, uh, you know, just just with a with a mischievous look. And then I imagine as the, the guy would looks over and starts to wonder, what is this guy up to? That's when his lungs start to fill with seawater. Oh, shit. And, and he starts choking and gasping for air as he just, you know, yeah. drowns. He drops down to his knees, dropping the gun, like hitting his chest. And water just starts to spew out from his nose and open mouth. And he just is coughing it. It doesn't seem to end. He starts to writhe on the floor in front of you. Um, you, Morthos, take one point of sanity damage. Oh. It's one thing you need to be Don't. careful about. But yeah, he's, yeah. he's dead. He's a man brown <laughs> he, on dry land. He deserves that sanity damage. Be careful about these things, but I'm going to give you this spell. So... Um, that's Morthos' turn, so now it's <laughs> baddies. We're gonna jump back to the car. Um, the robot... Wait, no, did Jess, did you go? Yes. Yeah, oh, was... um, I know Amber I went, already. but... Oh, you ran, Amber right. decided she wanted to go before me, yeah. That's right, so you, you ran. That's what's going on. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> that's the wrong token, <laughs> whatever. Um... So the robot's turn. Uh, it tosses the like the machine Glock at Amber and runs at you. And full tilt jumps out of the car, reaching for you. I need you to roll a defense check, please. And okay. it is going to draw a brawl check. Actually, this is dumb of it. I don't know why it's doing this. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so... Brawl is terrible. We'll go ahead and throw style into this just for a good measure. So you kind of nice. like duck out of the way as the robot kind of jumps full forwards at you. As it hits the pavement, it gets scratched up on its arm and shoulder pad, but it takes the, it ducks into a roll and lands in a crouch, very much like you would expect from like iRobot or something, as it's just one arm up in the air kind of looking up at you. Um, and then you can see popping out from its uh, raised fist, a blade extends from its wrist about a foot long, or more like, like eight or ten inches but it has an edged weapon built in. Um, that is its turn. Back inside the church, um, this guy runs up to the breach and sees Dr. Desdemona and begins to just unload with his machine gun. I need you to please roll your defense. Don't forget body armor. Right. Um, bow. Ooh. Okay, so the machine gun goes da -da 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 and bullets fly out. Um, you get caught just on the shoulder. You get winged by it uh, as you're kind of like ducking down to reload. Uh, you only take one point of lethal. It rolled very terribly. Um, the others, the robots begin to run up towards the window as well. 
this one uh, targets the doctor. Let's see, I think that might have been all its movement to get there. I didn't actually count. Sorry. But yeah, he gets up there. And then the other robot shoots at Dr. Desdemona as well. Um, you get a uh, uh, subtract of two to your defense. And don't forget your body armor. So negative two? Yeah. Okay. Um, that's four more as bullets spray out from this uh, rifle. This has a, another one of those Pugnu style uh, Tavors. You are dropped down to zero hit points, which means you are alive, but kind of like bleeding out. Uh, I don't know if... Has you been counting your body armor, Doctor? Because you have a four body armor. Yeah, it should oh, have okay, counted okay. that. Yeah, so you rolled okay. eight dice minus two. Yeah. So, so Doctor, you drop down to the ground, um, perforated a little bit with wounds. At this point, I'll update your health. The other guards uh, begin to try to like corral the spellcasters. They're like, "Don't stop! Keep the ritual going! You're gonna ruin it!" And then this guy runs up and with a machine gun just starts spraying bullets into the ceiling to try to get everyone's attention back on them. Um, these robots begin to run towards the entrance. Um, this guy begins to run up towards the bell tower. He actually takes a full run action. Uh, and this guy just hides and takes aim at the casters. That is the end of their turn. At that point, the vortex, which has been being summoned, seems to be getting swelling and... You can see shrapnel of glass uh, start to skitter across the floor towards it, uh, and there seems to be almost like a vacuum of suction into this semi-created portal. Um, everybody around will need to roll a dexterity-type save, which quantum black language, I think, is called just an acrobatics check, I guess. So, Morthos, if you can roll in acrobatics. Okay. Um, you feel you're getting yourself getting pulled backwards towards this. Oh, man, I'm just going to roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Most of the other people are, are getting, uh, like, able to resist it. But the guy next to you, you both start getting sucked towards it. Um Everybody else is able to withstand it. Uh, but that's a new round. So who's going first on the initiative of three? Um, either Amber or myself were going first. But I think I would want to finish running up to near the doctor. Okay. Probably here. Could I get here? Uh, you have a move or of, what, here? seven or something? Yeah, you can get up to him. Yeah. And then I want to shoot these guys with my shotgun, I think, is what I want to use. Shotgun, where is it? Double barrel shotgun. Yeah. Is that good? Can I go ahead and fire? Yeah, um... Are you wanting to stay next to the doctor or get up closer to the bad guys? Uh, that's fine. Get partial cover from this wall if possible. And, well, let's go ahead and... Sh well, shoot these guys, yeah. Well, whatever. The guy on the left, the robot. Kill him. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. So this guy is double barrel shotgun. Actually, Zigzag, can you can you hack the robots from space? Trying to get Zigzag to the van that Amber is in, so we could just use the van. Ah, uh, yeah, you're too slow. So are you shooting at the the guy. Yeah, let's shoot at the guy. Might as well. 
Okay, let me see. Is defense? Yep, that's correct. Oh, well, that even with his uh, body armor, you just take him out. With the shotgun, the spread goes across his chest, face, and shoulders, neck, everything, and he just, even though some of it's stopped but by the bullet, the best. Shoulders, he knees, drops and down. toes. Knees and toes. Boom. He's dead. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Boom. Okay, just three. Get yourself up, doctor. Amber will continue doing what she does and hack this robot to get it off her back. Okay. So it will protect itself for two. And I'm assuming it's still a plus six since we've got the kill codes. Yes, uh, you are able plus to kind of get in there and try to use the kill code for it. So that is going to be enough to shut it down. It kind of like just stays in its pose and then just doo, it drops down. Zigzag, get over here now, please. I inform Amber and whoever else is on comms that we have a lot more robots inside. Okay. Um, is Amber doing anything else? Um, if she's able to start with the computers... You want to jump in and try to start reading things, what's going on with, in there? Using the computer? Yeah. Okay, and go then, ahead, yeah. Go ahead and roll a computer's check. I'd say to, like, get on it and try to see what's going on, you wouldn't really use your sonic screwdriver for that. You'd just be trying to, like, read the interface and see what you're looking at. So that's going to be your first check is just computers. Okay. So it looks like it's already opened up to their system. They were actively on it. Um, but you would need to kind of like navigate through here a little bit to try to figure out where to get to like the robot controls. Yeah, uh, that's why she's calling in zigzag to get the extra backup on this so we can shut down all the robots. Okay, uh, zigzag, what do you want to do? Um, I mean, can I access it from where I am? Um, with the computer being open, you can ask Amber uh, to kind of get you a remote link. Um, if you wanted to do that, you can give, let's see. So it would, it would require a new role, but it would have to be initiated from Amber's side, or you can have Amber tell you. No, yeah, you could do it. You could kind of basically try to hack in like you normally do, and Amber would just guide you through that process a little bit like what she's seeing to give you uh, the plus two on your end. So we'll go with that. So she's yeah, helping I'd you with the plus two. Uh, I'd personally like to not get into range of gunfire and explosions. I've lost one van. I'm not losing another. Well, that's why we're trying to get this van for us. As well. So computer is plus two? Mm-hmm. Yep. Come on. Okay. And we do have the kill code for the robots. Yep. When so, it comes um, to it. So Amber, you're able to kind of get in, kind of talk a little bit through the comms and get to a page where you can like remote link to zigzag screen. So you can tech support it without being on site and that kind of frees you up. So if you want to get out of the van and do whatever on, on your next turn, you're free to go or whatever you want. Um, that leads us to the doctor. Um, so being down, you are at zero health. So that is... Hold on, I'm Roll medicine to... on himself. That's what I'm trying to see. So if... I'm pretty sure I'd be considered unconscious. Not yeah. in this game. Oh, really? So you're disabled. Yeah. So if your character Different. takes enough lethal, lethal damage to reduce you to zero, you're disabled and only capable of taking limited action. Instead of attacking, defending, moving all in the same turn, you can only perform one of those actions each turn. If you wish, you can try to exert yourself and perform three, but that's that's suffering. Uh, that's at the risk of suffering lethal damage immediately. So you can hey. still do an action. You're like bleeding on the okay. ground, though. Wow, I'm a. I'm gonna like be like, oh, come on, suck it up, Buttercup, and like, like essentially reach into my jacket and pull out a stim and like stim myself for one non uh, one lethal. Okay, so you heal back yeah. one immediately as you feel the adrenaline kind of like getting through your body. Um, so that's your one action to get you back up, so that's your turn. 
um, the bad guy's turn. Um, the robots now seeing additional threat begin to focus their Tavors on Jess. I need you to roll defense for the first one. And these you got it. Have... All right. Ambrose plus will be like, five? careful, they got some bite. And uh, she's okay. within 10 feet, so she would You're get right. the plus two. She is. Do, 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 do. There's a reason I'm standing where I'm at. Plus five. <laughs> second so this is first attack um that's terrible as this is just spraying bullets around the corner and just missing terribly the second one is going to attack you as well so you take a minus two to that modifier plus three plus three got it okay so I'll get just, just chips of stone and like wall is going everywhere bullet impacts ding, on the ding, grass ding, and ding, your sprays up in the air uh, but you are fine the guards shout uh, all the ones that are all congregated over here is like no no keep the ritual going you're gonna ruin it this guy steps over his ally who's like still puking up water on the ground like writhing he's going to grab uh, Morthos and this guy's gonna come around and grab the other guy and try to pull you both back out of this kind of suctioning portal that's starting to appear. Um, they have an athletics of three. Wait, no, that's their base. Is it four? So, I really think they oops. all get like disadvantaged for trying to do a ceremony with the building coming down and people getting sucked in. Yeah, so neither of them are successful. You're both, you and the guy next to you are getting sucked towards this... Uh, this black hole that's starting to appear um that is the bad guy's turn this guy disappears to the rooftop um okay that's a new round what do you all want to do uh were we able to maneuver t to the robot page um no. actually adrian i have a question can yes. we get in through here or hold on on this page no or it was on the last page but go ahead um can we get in this way or do we need to go up the stairs still no you you can go in that way the c4 blew a hole so big that you can just just jump in basically excellent can i we're just gonna shoot this guy with the shotgun boom this is your second shot, so remember it's a break top. You'll have yep. to reload after this. So you're shooting the robot guy? Yeah. They're so slow. Wow, these guys are rolling terrible. Hold on. So many guns. There we go. That's the one I want. Do you want me to move it to the top? I rolled you? a four. Okay, um, you so that blast was really, away, really low. You blast away part of its armor, but and you reveal kind of like the central plate underneath with wires exposed, but it's still up. Um, since we're on this page, Doctor, do you want to go? Uh, sure, why not? Um, yeah, uh, I will. Uh, are you planning on like advancing here pretty soon? Oh yeah, I need to move forward too. I forgot about that. I was planning on advancing, yes. How far? Um, one, two, three, four. Wait, which one did you think I was shooting at? This guy, I thought. Okay, yeah, that's the one I was shooting at. Four. Five. I get up in its face. Okay. That's me advancing. I would like to move there. And okay. then, uh, as I'm doing that for my action, I would like to, uh, like, heal myself. Okay. So you inject another stim? No, I'm gonna, right. like, like, actually start, like, you know, pulling bits out of me and, like, you know, actually kind of, like, sewing myself up a little bit. Okay, so you like drop down back against the remaining wall that's there and just yeah. start trying to patch yourself up. Okay, we'll come roll medicine. 
Okay. And as this Seven. absolutely unrealistic medicine patch brings you back to full health. <laughs> right. I love it. Love this that. just reminds me of the crazy psychotic doctor from Akuma, Do uh, Akuma Do Drive. I haven't seen it. Uh, uh, get the gaping hole on her, just sews herself back up. Arm cut off, just sews it back on. Head cut off, just, you know, yep. stitches it back together. Sounds about right. Um, so outside, um, Amber and Zigzag, what would you all like to do? Kill switch the bots if possible. Yeah. Um, you've got, you're in on the computer. Go ahead and roll your uh, computer's check. You also get to add a plus Before? four because you have the kill codes already. Me? Yep. No, I mean, if, if you zoom, it's here. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. So computer is plus four. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, that is six successes back over here. Um, which one do you want to deactivate? You have uh, six on the map, four on the bottom, and then three on the top, or two on the top. Can I assist trying to do a full blown kill code on all of them? Uh, if you want to just keep it hacking on the other one, you can just jump to the second computer that's in the back where the other guy you splattered all over the wall, and you can roll your own computer's check. Okay. Uh, but for uh, Zigzag, which one do you want to take out first? Uh, I'll shut this one down directly. That's up. the one I'm fighting. Okay. The other one would be better. Well, then you can turn your attention to the other one. Okay. Okay. Uh, is that the one that you want to take down? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that um, is two health left. So that is down to zero, and it just kind of like slumbers down. Um, now, you have remaining damage, essentially. Which one do you want to apply it to? Move it to the other one right here. Okay, and you just start furiously hacking at this one as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, and for Amber, did you roll yours? Here's for Amber, using a style point. Okay, so you should have four plus two, because you're using your sonic screwdriver and style, so seven. Um, yep. That is enough to kill this one as well. <clears throat> I presume the same one, or which one? Um, start taking out some of the ones up by the front here. Okay. So both uh, all on the ones in the front? Yep. Okay, so you take out one... And then the other one is like you're working on the second one. Okay, um, Morthos, you feel the suction, like gravity itself, pulling you backwards into this uh, sphere that you've been helping create. Uh, what do you want to do? You have one guy grabbing onto you from the back, trying to like, pull you out, but you're still being pulled in. Um, I mean, I'd like to do whatever is possible to get not sucked into this portal, preferably. Okay, so you can try to resist it just physically if you want to do that, and that would be like an athletics check. Um, or if you have anything else that you can do, it's up to you. And what... um, I don't think there's anything else I could do to try to get out of it. Okay. Uh, roll so, athletics. I did. Okay, so you are not sucked in more by this, but it seems to be getting stronger. Um, at the initiative zero, basically, it's going to start pulling people in again. Um, you think you're going to get pulled further. Anything else you want to do on your turn besides just fully resisting? No, because I think that would require all of my focus. Okay. So on initiative one is the bad guys. Um, seeing gunfire and stuff, the guy who's been trying to pull you in is going to let go, step back, and start trying to shoot over at Jess. Jess, will you please... Uh, he's using a handgun, though, so if you can roll your defense, please. This is the first time I've gotten attacked this round, correct? Yeah, this is a new round. Okay, and I and have... Yeah. You're, uh, yeah, okay. Don't worry, Doctor. I got this. Blech. 
Okay. So you duck just in time as the crack of the bullet uh, just snaps past you. You take no damage. Um, the other guy is going to still try to pull out this first cultist that he has a four. Um, he is able to pull the guy out just a little bit enough so that he's not going to get sucked inside it. Um, however, that's all he's going to do. This guy is going to start running. Uh, anyone within uh, like audio like distance of hearing, he like fuck this and starts running. Um, this guy I think is also going to like, get out, seeing what's going on. What else? The robots next uh, to here is going to shoot at Jess as well. Uh, so I need you to roll your defense at a minus two. Do the robots have a self-destruct in them? Um, do you want to try to find out? That'd be your next turn if that's what you want to do. Um, so you take three points of damage as you get shot in the arm. A second one hits your vest, but it's like... Uh, pretty close up to you, so you're injured. I'll go ahead and deduct three from you. Yeah, you go ahead and do it. I'm not sure which one you want to deduct it from. Okay. Okay. Um, then the other robots are down there. Basically, they burst out of the front door and start running around this way. And then they will run again this way and start running towards the parking lot. Um, well, that, he's going to run twice, too. That is uh, all their turn. The cultists, um, the remaining two, the beast guys over here, and then these ones are going to start trying to chant to slow, to stop whatever's going on. Um, but they do not seem to be making too much of an effect. Um, the guy who's from the Cult of Morthai runs around and tries to grab Morthos and tug you one last time. He pulls you out of the gravitational pull just enough uh, so that you aren't sucked in. And when the next wave of gravity tugs, everybody needs to roll an athletics check again. <laughs> Yay! Uh, and this might be a great way to get rid of those bodies. Okay. Oh, uh, this guy starts to get sucked in. Then I'll need a check from Morthos. Okay. Um, it's growing, but you're able to resist and you still have your feet on solid ground. However, you notice that the tiles on the floor are beginning to crack and slip into this vortex. And uh, like all the glass shards and the loose uh, bits here, and all the, like the seawater from the guy who was puking up a minute ago, uh, is all getting kind of like sucked into this void. Um, that being said, is a new round. Amber, we'll Jess, would, li Jess would like you guys to shut down the robots because it's a bloody waste of effort to try to shoot them when you guys are just going <laughs> to shut them down. So you do it yeah. first. And then I'll shoot the remaining guys. Okay. <laughs> Here's for Amber. Okay. Let me roll mine. What do I get to this again? Uh, plus four. Plus four. Computers. Plus four. So Not that's... plus 54. <laughs> you wish. Four. <laughs> Dang. Okay, so That's with a, 11. 11 successes. So are you targeting the one by Jess first? Um, or the one at yeah. the bottom? Okay, the so one, with, yeah, with but... Jess, that eats four. It goes... Uh, that leaves seven more points. Amber deactivates one down here. And then um, as... Zigzag kind of focuses in. You have seven more, and you just 
furious typing. Do, do. They both go clink. Mm. That's how you get things done. Crack your knuckles. Okay. Oh yeah. Um, so Robots are down. Um, who's next? Jess, Ambrose, or Morthos? Anyone? Sorry, I said I wanted to shoot this guy who shot at me and that he should have been dead last round. Wait, who? And so I pulled the guy who shot at me. This guy? Yeah. Sorry, not that guy, the... This guy. Yeah, that guy. This guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. Do, 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 do. Okay, I don't have any style points, but... DIE! Okay. And this guy... Is... Defense. Um, he takes the bullet, but he's still up. Yep. Uh, anything else? Any move? Um. Can I move the robots forward if I like hold them and move them and they walk like a person, or um, are they just like standing there? They're now basically frozen like statues. You remember at the the apartment they were all oh, yeah, locked yeah, up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they won't move in this state. Is this an altar? Um, it's like it a creature podium. Yeah, it's like a. I forget what. Can I kind of stand a little behind it? Yeah. Here, and you can use, use it, it for, for cover. like partial cover. Yeah. Yeah. Or doctor, are we moving in more? Uh. I'm moving in more. I think you would be moving in more too. Uh, like I, I think I would, but like I think really we just need to like get more those and run. But we should we should make all of these people holy. I'm also really wondering what, what would happen if I launched a grenade in the middle of this gigantic bubble here, you know. Do it, and we can find out. For science and funsies? Exactly. Oh, no. Um, sure, why not? Maybe take me? out one of the cultists on the way. Something like that, you know. Well, hopefully not Morthos is, is the plan. Well, he's not uh, between you and the hole, so we should be good. What we should do well, find out what happened to them, or do we kill these guys? What's the plan for these guys? Well, we found out that they were trying to do a ritual. Nobody wants anybody doing that, so... And this one was against their wills, wasn't it? Yeah. So do you want me to like, like roll for? Yeah, I mean, if, honestly, if you're shooting into it, you don't have to necessarily roll. Um, okay. You're not gonna miss, so it just goes, right. boom, and then the after the recoil causes your hand, or the shorty forty to just kind of like lift up in your hand from the recoil, it just sails into the void and disappears. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we should be anywhere near that, Morthos. Run, run, Morthos. <laughs> okay, more of those, you're up. Um. Well, yeah, I would, I would like to try to get away. Okay. Um, um, you have you have half your movement basically from if you're just walking because of the extra gravity and you're up next to it. Um, but you can break away since you've been kind of resisted the most recent pulse of the. So if you want, you can move up to half your speed, or if you're wanting to like dash or run, um, you could do that too. It's just all halved. Um, is that is that half my uh, movement rounded down or? Um, so you have a move of five, so you could move. That's a good question. We'll say two because you're still so close to it. Okay. Um. Yeah. I just wanna, like, boop. Boop. Okay. Yep. And, um... Hold on. Where's, uh... Uh, 
was thinking of locusts just because that sounded interesting, but it just says that I summon a swarm of locusts. Doesn't say if they're gonna be like hostile to me or anything, so. Well, bugs don't think are not this necessarily. Is a good situation to find out. Like... Yeah, you could try if you want. Um, well, or not if you at don't this want. moment. Okay. Just, um, just try to now that I see it. my teammates, yeah, kind of gonna be like, hey, <laughs> what a, yeah, I, I guess feeling out the the plan here. Okay. Um, on in the bad guy's turn, this guy steps up and tries to grab you and says, no, you have to stop it. And uh, he's going to try to roll a athletics check to hold you, I guess. So you can roll um, you can roll your defense as he's... Is he saying you. you have to stop the ritual or you have to stop moving? He's saying you have to stop it. But he's trying to also oh. grab Morthos while holding a gun at it, at him. Actually, he's holding the gun towards Jess, actually, but he's trying to, like, grab Morthos and, like, pull him towards him. So if Morthos can roll defense. Um, yeah, so he grabs you, and you're kind of, like, pulled up against him, almost like hostage-type situation, except that the gun's pointed at Jess. And he shouts, Make him stop it! The robots are all dead. Um, the other guy is going to start running. Two, three, five, six. These guys can Morthos actually, running. can he actually stop it? Can he do a reverse ritual? Um, is that a thing? The These guys that are still over here are like trying to like still do the chant that they were teaching, that they were taught, but it doesn't seem to be like working. This guy's getting sucked in still. Uh, so that's initiative zero. So everybody in the surrounding two squares will need to roll uh, the athletics check now. So that still does include Morthos and actually now Jess and Ambrose. And I'm assuming the guy that's dead just probably just gets sucked up. Uh, yeah. Wait, what do we? Zero. I have an altar between me and the and the thingy. I'm using the altar. Okay. Uh, the altar is getting kind of leans over, cracked, and you can actually have a plus four on your athletics because of that. Sweet. So, athletics suck. would these also be included in that, or uh, no? These are getting pulled across the floor into it. Yeah. This guy, athletic dead body, gets sucked in. Four. So let's see how many. They're so waiting now. Um. um so okay. Jess, you are enough. With, sorry. I'm um, seeing these guys as well. Is the circle moving? No, it's getting bigger. Yes. Oh, it looks like it's just moving. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need Can to you do a reverse? Um, whatever this is, Morthos. That guy goes. Ah! Jesus. Um. Can he do a reverse? Um, he can roll supernatural lore check. Uh, nobody gets immediately sucked in, but they're all like close, and then I need to roll for him. But the guard is at a minus two because he's trying to grab Morthos. So the guard who's grabbing you all of a sudden like lifts off the ground, loses his grip on you, flies into the guy who's in from the cult that you were in, and knocks him into uh, the portal. Ah! Everybody else is barely able to withstand. Uh, Morthos, you rolled a what? A two? For your athletics? Uh, six. Oh, wait. Supernatural lore. Yeah, and then did I get one from Ambrose? Uh, yeah, I was trying I was trying to ask, because I'm, like, kind of behind the altar, too, when I get that same plus four. Um, yeah, you can have that as well, because it's, it's right. between you, and even though it's cracking, it's a pretty stable uh, thing. Um, but even with, uh, with that, you kind of get sucked down a little bit past it as you feel a pulse of this gravitation. Um getting pretty bad and then i actually need to go back because twos are now failures so that's actually one two three four actually yeah so four more of the guys go who moved morthos closer the gravity oh the gravity did yeah <laughs> um so that's that initiative zero initiative three so it's a new round so we should move away from it 
And Morthos should do some reverse heresy. <laughs> reverse heresy. Reverse so, heresy. Oh, actually, I need to go over that. So supernatural lore. Um, you can tell kind of thinking about it in the moment. Um, your brain worked incredibly quick in this moment split second. You realize that you actually know a little bit of the portal, like a portal equivalent spell. Something with what they were doing actually wasn't right. Like, you know that the ley lines are, are swelling with power right now, so you have a lot of arcane energy that you can tap into. But And you know that whenever you have multitude of casters, the magic is even stronger as well. So, like, having the more ritual like casters, the more people quoting the, uh, the spell or whatever, gives you yes. extra benefit but something in the line of what they were trying to do was off and so even though this is supposed to like teleport you over to a different like portal to somewhere else they had it wrong and now it's like turning into a black hole so it needs to either be turned off or you need to correct the spell to the portal one that you know um which one would so... be easier What was that? Becca asked which one would oh. be easier, and I would also like to know that. Yeah, I would say ending the spell would be pretty challenging at this point because of how it's it's starting to just grow and like tap into like the ley line magic. Um, it would be a much easier to salvage it by changing the incantation to try to bring it back under control. Um, but you're going to probably need help doing that. You could try to do uh, it by yourself, but... The, like, again, I can, can I ask Mr. Werewolf Man? Yeah, he seems help. to be trying to do the same thing, but at the same time not getting sucked in. Okay, I was just to say, like, could, could he and I both try it? Yeah, you can, yeah. You, know, you can call out to him. Okay, yes. So, I, I would like to call out to that guy. I, I don't know him, and so I'm just like, hey, you. Yep. Uh, no, well, we, need to, we need to fix this thing. So, uh, it it's a black hole right now, and we need to fix it. So, we don't all get sucked into this. Okay, well, what, what do we do? He shouts, and then you would know from your number 15 spell um, that you can try to call, like write down new um, like lines like in the chalk around like, if you can get it to be around this area uh, but you can at least just start fixing the chant by resuming it um, and the more voices who can join into that um, the better but you would have to okay. lead the chant because you know the correct one that you can change it to got it um so yeah just tell him like yeah we gotta yeah. Yeah. Right, I, I know what to do. Follow my lead. Uh, okay. Basically, like, we're still doing the same chant, right? Okay. Yeah, so you can, uh, you lead it, like, the first, like, line of it, essentially, and then he kind of, like, joins in because he knows it. But then, like, the second line's a little bit different, and you can start going through it. Um, so he will help you, so you'll get a, the, uh, he'll get an automatic two success bonus on your roll uh, from him. I'm just going to take his average. Um, and then for you, you can roll your super or your ritual magic. And then this is going to be at a plus eight because of uh, the ley line. As it is becoming maximum. Okay, so that's seven successes. Uh, Ambrose and Jess, you can hear uh, this chant from what Morthos and the other guy are trying to do. This, uh, the guy who's been trying to like pull like Morthos away. Um, he's going to try to break free on his own with just an athletics and try to crawl away. He's just able to do that. And he crawls half speed away two spaces. So he's trying to get away from the gravity. Um, on that note, did you want to try to move Morthos as well? Yeah. Just a little bit. Okay. Just kinda... uh, yeah. 
And then this guy on his turn, he's going to also try to back up a little bit, um, but he spends his turn helping you. Uh, Jess and Ambrose, is there anything you want to do to either help or or just get out, mm -hmm. or what do you want to do? Can I repeat what Morthos is saying from behind him as I hold him and make sure he doesn't slide forward? Um, well, that's a very <laughs> good question. Um, do you have ritual magic by any chance? E no. Okay, so then I will have you roll a linguistics check as you are just trying to verbally mimic him. Linguistics. I have a one. Okay. Um, so you try to join in the chant. Uh, Morthos, you can tell that she helps a little bit, but she's not like saying things right. She's not studied or anything, but she's pretty quick for what she's doing in the moment, and she's able to contribute one success. Yay! <laughs> um, anything from Doctor, you? Doctor, I suggest you remove yourself from a big black hole. You. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, like, uh, so I, I could move only, like, two spaces, right? Uh, you can move half movement, or you can try to, if you, you want to just roll an athletics check to try to move full movement away, you can. Uh, Okay, I will roll an athletics check. I'm great at these. Not really. Okay, yeah, you can move. You can move an extra yeah. square, so half plus one. So three. Alright, okay, so I'm gonna try to move, like... Wait, why would I move that way? Okay, hold on. Um, I'm gonna, like, try to, like, move, like, out. Okay. Doc- oh, can I tell the doctor that while he's, you know, while there's a black hole, the dead bodies are being sucked in, yep. so, you know, maybe some of the building, too, would be great. Uh, what about Amber and Zigzag? Uh, you're up next. Um, what do you all want to do? You're on the outside still. Uh... Amber is going to try to take control of the robots unless she sees these guys coming out of the doors. Um, they're about to come out, yeah. I forgot to make them go last time, so I think you'd probably just see the first two coming outside. Okay. If she notices them coming out, she will take shots at them. Okay. You can go ahead and make your attack action. Yeah. And uh, she'll let Zigzag know try to take full control of the robots, get them to the van. I, uh, I do actually want to do that. Yeah, that's a. I, okay. Can I? Is it free to move my drone? Um. Yeah, you can move your drone. That's fine. Right, my drone is yeah optimal recording of this. Oh, <laughs> you're recording it, huh? Cool. Um, there's a black hole. Let's see. Nah, that's fine. Um. Yeah. So you can just you start filming it essentially with your drone camera. Um, and then for what else are you trying to do? Like take over one of the robots? If possible, yeah. Okay, which one? I'm trying to hack the system itself to just get full control of the robots. Which one? So I start having them march towards the vans. Um, I'm gonna start working on uh, the closest ones to us. So okay, the so the three outdoors. Ones outside, okay. ideally. Go ahead and roll uh, computers. You don't get the plus four because they're already shut off. You're trying to do a new mm -hmm. access code. Alrighty. At work, hello. Uh, still waiting on it here. Okay, let me go again. Uh, Amber does take a shot at this guy. Okay. Um, Ooh. So yeah, so they, the first shot whizzes over. Um, he ducks underneath it. Um, you just immediately take sight again for the second shot, but first that brings it to initiative zero. And the black hole begins to swell again. Everybody in the vicinity must roll another athletics check. Athletics. This guy What's going gets on dragged there? in. What's, uh, what's the uh, vicinity? Am uh, I like still within that? Uh, you actually are now because it's growing, so everybody in the room is. However, um, Wolfman okay. is able to succeed barely and stay stands his ground. The robot Does being further away give me it not as high of a challenge? 
Um, no, but you can only be dragged in one square with where you guys are at, so. Okay, perfect. That's so, good. I'm assuming um, if we leave this thing active, it'll just turn into a massive black hole and absorb the world. Amber's thinking these thoughts out loud or on the or in her mind. My so athletics is really, really bad. Can I make it to where I, instead of moving towards Morthos, I move to the side of Morthos? Um, well, you're next to each other. I need Morthos to roll. Oh, he rolled a one two, so you all shift inwards uh. by one square. Um, but that's its turn. Amber, uh, did you say that on the comm, or are you just thinking it? Uh, she doesn't. Nobody told her about black. Well, I'm saying this out of character. Oh well, out of character. You don't know. <laughs> I did. I probably might have said something about a black hole to Morthos when I said, "Can you do some reverse heresy and like close this black hole?" I might have said something like that potentially. Yeah, that, that's well, true. You was it with the comms on? P I think comms yeah, are always probably. on, unless he. Does. Yeah. So, plus Zigzag is getting it on camera, so Zigzag could also notify you if uh, you're, when you probably say what's good, going yeah. on in there. <laughs> So then, yeah, she would ask over the comms. Um, so, as you ask that, it's going to be top of the round. Who's going first to do Morthos? Do you want to lead it with um, with your supernatural, uh, with your uh, ritual magic, or what do you what are you doing? With, with, with my reverse heresy. Okay. <laughs> yes, reverse heresy. Yeah, I, I would like to keep trying to okay. fix this. You're like literally sliding across the floor without moving from the gravity, but you keep the chant up. Um, go ahead and roll. Uh, what's the the modifier right um, now? You get plus the... eight. Okay. So it's topped out. Okay. And then uh, the wolfman is also doing Wait. his chant, so that is. We probably want to move further away at this point, like... Yep, so you can move half movement or roll athletics. So, ha what's your movement, Morthos? Five. So that's rounded to two. So yeah, I get two. So, boop. Okay. Uh, Jess, what are you doing? I'm moving two, four... Wait, wait, wait. Two, four... So I have a move of seven, so I would probably be more like here. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I'm I'm reverse harassing with Morthos with linguistics. Okay, go ahead and reroll. <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm thinking in my head, what the am I saying? Where's my linguistics? Hold on. Okay. Um, Amber. You don't get hit, but a bullet, actually a couple bullets, start to pepper the top of the van. I'm so helpful. <laughs> All right, I'm going to return fire. Okay, it's coming from the rooftop. Um, you, so the guy on the roof, the sniper. I returned your gun to you. Yeah, she did. He, he ducks behind the column, but he's starting to shoot down at you from the top. Um, the other three guys uh, are going to just start scattering. One guy goes this yeah. way, one guy goes across the street, and one guy comes hey, Tor, running, got runners. running towards you, lifting his rifle up. Uh, and he's also going to start spraying the van once he has a clear shot around the robots, which actually isn't this round, so that would be next. Um, zigzag. Tori, hit them with your car! Interesting. Um... <laughs> okay gonna keep trying to get the bots okay go ahead and uh re-roll computers computers does the guy up top know that i'm in the van um he's shooting down at you so he would presume so okay um with a seven um you're able to kind of get control over the one of them so i'll just give you access to this one as it becomes Instead of the purple eye that it had, it kind of fizzles in and it turns green. Sweet. Okay, you have control over him. Uh, what do you want to do? You've um, got runners. And you got a new toy. 
what are the armaments of this bot? <laughs> it's holding a Tavor uh, rifle. And it also has an right. like, uh, arm blade. And that's as far as you know. All right, you know what? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta embrace this. It's just like playing Call of Duty. I'm gonna take a step with the bot to the side so I get view of this dude here, and I'm gonna light him up. Okay. And so promptly throw up. It lifts its rifle. And then the guy has already. Actually, no. This is a different guy. So he has full defense. Um, he like drops to the ground, diving for cover as just the pavement lights up with bullet impacts. Um, takes no damage. Uh, Amber, you took a shot up at the roof, uh, jumping kind of out of the van to see kind of who's shooting at you. And then I think that only leaves Dr. Desdemona. Is there anything you're doing or just kind of getting out? Uh, yeah, I think I'm mainly just trying to get out of there because uh, I'm not very ling ling linguistical and... Uh, I can't run very fast, so um, I need to start <laughs> running now, is okay. what I'm getting the impression of. And, uh, yeah, um, so... The, the church pews lift off the ground, flying into this this fissure. Um, pieces of the wall, any art, the chandeliers, everything snaps off and starts to, like, fly in towards the, the ceiling. The, the, the pulpit's gone. All the glass shards are gone. All the blown up pieces from the C4 is gone. The bodies are all gone. Everything is just getting torn apart, including the ceiling is now starting to crack and buckle. Um, Jess um, Morthos. Tess, uh, Jess, Jess is very happy all her bullet casings are getting sucked in. All the evidence, you know. Yep. Um, I need the three inside to roll athletics. Oh, my athletics sucks so bad. And this but, guy you know. gets starts to lift up into the air and he's like flying towards it athletics actually with this with two he's really actually almost is this my athletics Ugh. okay you lift off the ground and you are almost sucked in oh wait wait i'm off the ground yep you are flying through the air towards it oh crap and I just need Morthos's. Is the pulpit still there? No, pulpit's gone. Got sucked in a bit ago. Yeah, Morthos, mm. you are like on it. All everybody who's like trying to still cast is like suspended in the air as you're like getting uh, tucked towards it. Um, but that is its turn. It is now a new round, and I need to know what everybody wants to do. Is it is it looking like I'm going to be able to to fix this? Um, roll a check for that. Um, if you want to try to see just like how close, that would be supernatural lore. Like in your last potential moments, you're like, is this even gonna work, or are we dead? And you just uh, can think about it. With a five. <laughs> You are basically at the point of the ritual where you need to choose where you want the portal to land, like where you want it to go. You're almost there. Take me to a beach somewhere. I need a vacation. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. So, like, we're out. Okay. So, what? What? Uh. Shit, I don't want to want to pick a destination. I don't want to make those kinds of decisions. Okay. Well, yeah, how you're floating towards it. You have to finish the ritual. So you can roll your super not or your uh, ritual magic check if you want. And this is still at the plus eight. Thanks. And then Jess, if you want to roll your check as well, you can. Sorry, kids are talking to me. What was that, Adrian? Uh, if you want to try to assist, you can. Nice. Uh, that, that Linguistics. Might... Yeah, and until you can pick up the supernatural or ritual magic. But um, I will tell you that Morthos is able to control the portal. So if you Yay. if you just like give up as you're floating towards it, um, dear God, what am I saying? 
<laughs> wow, you guys hit 30. So Thinking Latin is hard. Morthos. Mm. The portal changes color and going the black stars of space kind of like change as it swirls. I need you to choose a location. Um meaning like for the portal to exist or where the portal yeah. for we'll take, take it to us. take it to for, like our a safe house for your portal um you need to have an intended destination as you you change the spell over so now this is your portal window so you have to link it to another area um uh, okay so where is it Can, can it? I, I don't it, it know can... where a smart idea for like the portal to transport people or go. Like, can it just like boop us to the front of the building or something? Yep. You want to like, link it to I, the front of the building? Want... Is that what yeah, you're Yeah, like thinks? I don't want people who stumble upon this to get anywhere helpful per se. Okay. Oh, you, so it you from, takes us it. from one side of the building to the other <laughs> side of the building. <laughs> you are all suspended like six feet in the air, and as Morthos, you finish the spell, and it's it's that moment you're like, "What do you do?" And you open the portal at the front of the church. The three of you get consumed into it, only to pop out, and you all fall down six feet onto the pavement on the other side, and the portal whoosh, vanishes. Um. I evidently didn't, but you know. I don't know where you went. You didn't get copied yeah, over she, properly. She disappeared. So yeah, so the you three of you, yeah. the three of you land hard on the pavement, but the portal stops. The church begins to fall in on itself, anyways. Doctor Desdemona, um, if you want to take your turn and kind of like run away, you can. You're no longer affected yeah. by the gravity. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna like run to the van for Tori to pick us up because like kay. we yeah. need to go. Okay, yeah, Tori's driving um, in close. It looks like he's trying to take out one of these guards, so I'll have Tori roll a drive check. And Tori does get style points, so he's gonna put all three of them into drive if you guys want him to. Do it. Tori is amazing at driving. <laughs> oh no, except for today. <laughs> he tries to mount the curb, but the van gets stuck. <laughs> yeah, he has to put into reverse and back up. He's not able to get to a cult, uh, one of the um, cultists today. Um, Since we're closer at this point, can I shoot one of them? Just say. Not, uh, not on your turn. It's uh, it still has to go through a round first, so it would be. Oh, okay. It'd be. Um, blah. Amber and Zigzag still. All right, I'm assuming the guy that was up top probably fell to his death when the thing collapsed. Yeah, it's collapsed. So the the bell tower has fallen in on itself. Whether he's alive or not, you don't know. But it, he fell from the top of the bell tower into the church, so it's collapsing. Um, we'll shoot at the guy that's trying to get away, like the guy who's running. Far right, far bottom, or far left? The one who's farthest away. Okay, go ahead and take your shot. Okay, uh, it looks like a miss. Shoot wide. He's running for it. Um, zigzag? Um, I'm going to repeat. Okay. Light him up. Okay, yeah, he gets uh, shot a couple times and falls down, but he's still alive. It's like playing Call of Duty. I can handle it. Um, what else? Their turn. This guy would just keep running. He's basically almost off map. Uh, this guy turns around and starts shooting at you all. He recognizes Morthos and the Wolfman, so I think he's going to shoot at... Who would he shoot at? He might shoot at Jess. Um, I will roll Jess's defense because I think she is indisposed. She gets, what, a plus three or something because of her body armor? I'm not indisposed. I'm just annoyed. Oh, sorry. But that works. <laughs> sorry, I heard the kids crying and thought you were muted because you went to go see what's going on. 
Okay. No, I'm I'm not. Okay. Yeah, they need to go to bed. <laughs> so that's their turn. So it's a new round. What do you guys all want to do? Um, or we could just <laughs> kill them because at this point that's what's going to happen. Uh, Amber will try to take another shot at the guy. Okay, go ahead and roll your attack. Okay. Yeah, I think he's going to be able to escape. Uh, unless you want to take time to hunt him. Uh, Jess, do you want to shoot at this guy? And then Zigzag, do you want to shoot at that guy? Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone can make their attack. Death to the cultist. Except for ours. We, we, we like ours. <laughs> uh, We're not cultists. Me. We're fanatics. Uh, the doctor can get down to the van or kind of wherever you want, kind of like running by. Um, what do you want to do? Uh, we have a runner. Yeah, but it's like broad fucking daylight. And if I just like... Is it broad daylight? No, it's not. Uh, no, it's no, night. It's, it's uh, oh. nightfall. Yeah. Oh, well, no, I'm, no. I mean, if you guys want to deal with it, you guys can deal with it. I'm just getting to the van. I I shot, I shot him. Yeah. Um. Oh, if anything, I would say like steal steal some of their IDs. We might be able to use those later. No, like... that's what I wanted to do. Is I wanted to kill him, take his body, see if we can track this this other guy using like the microphone. And then, like, see where they're from, hunt well, them we, down. We, you know. we we know we know where they're from. They're from uh, Wiz or yeah, Wiz. Wiz. Um. So, like, it, but like, if we could get like some of their key cards, we might be able to doctor their key cards and sneak into a Wiz facility at some point. So we might want to like try to pocket some of those if we can. Uh, yeah, we're gonna trip. Um, I guess it'll be next so, turn. Yeah, so the, there's wants to bring his van up at this point. Yeah, um, Tori's a little bit late to the scene, but he arrives with the van, so he picks up, let's say, Dr. Desdemona first. <laughs> um, and then Jess and Zigzag, you take care of those other two guys. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. getting rid of these guys. This, the other guy I wanted to get to once we, you know take yeah. care of them take their bodies get their ids loot their headset you know so so you you're racing to kind of like collect all this stuff how much time do you want to spend on site well um, we want to uh we want to get out before the cops get here obviously <laughs> you know have the doctor blow up the building a little more uh and it look like it a... i believe that we have in the back <laughs> Just toss that into there. Set the place ablaze as well. Yep. I, it's it's, our, it's, I mean, it's already pretty much demolished. I mean, set it ablaze even further. Can I can I peek inside if we have the opportunity and see yeah. if what the floor looks like? If there's any traces of like voodoo going on in there, so or if it's I just like a random. I will tell you. Uh, you can the the portion first portion of the building is is standing correctly. This uh -huh. whole section is all collapsed on itself and is rubble. Perfect. Yeah, we don't need to do anything there. I I have my my shotgun that's needing to be loaded. And I have my Beretta, a dead body, Morthos. I think we would want this guy to come with us. Yeah, he's willing to go with you. He looks from and Northwest I, everyone, yeah. And yeah. I personally would would try to collect any stray shells. I, There's uh, oh, from where you're at, yeah, you can retrieve all the shells from where you're by the car. Um, I know. I definitely would like to pull up and uh, keep Mister uh, Terminator bodyguard for myself. Okay, yeah, you just yeah. have him pile it into your like, van as well. Walk into your van, yeah. He sits down. Can, can the he actually carry the other bots into the van? 
Um, if a uh, Terry, I could probably just hack into them and make them walk in. That works. Uh, Amber will get the other bot by the uh, the Banshee's in into the back of it, and if this one's still active, we'll like get that into the back of the van as well. Um, hey, there... Adrian, did the tower fall into the black hole? It fell down into the the tower is on top of all this stuff. Okay. So, okay, got it. So are you collectively wanting to retrieve all five robots? If we can. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Personally, I would like to collect my my good friend, Mr. Terminator Bodyguard. Yep. Yeah. You can have that one in your van. Um, there uh, are... If we can get the other two into his van, is like at least these two in his van and two in mine. Okay, I definitely wouldn't mind more Terminator okay. Bodyguards. If you want to just start trying to control more of them, uh, go ahead and roll another computer's check. Uh, over here, you'll recall there was one. You're able to just kind of manhandle that into this, uh, the whiz van, right? The one that was closest to the Tori's, van. She just Tori's van of... or the whiz van? The whiz van, because okay. we're taking that with us. Okay. Uh, oh, Amber yeah. will get the bodies, this van, into the church. A bunch of gasoline over everything. And uh, before they go, she sets the place ablaze. Okay. Do you want me to do uh, two computers, one for each bot? Yeah. Okay. No, okay. the same. Neither of those are successful. So, so I got Am one bot. Yeah. If um, so, you're wanting to load these in manually then to the van. Uh, the one closest to the van she'll load it manually because that's not too far to try to carry or manhandle it. The second one, we're going to try to using the computers to from this van and the tech that they have there to gain access to the one in the side walk. Okay. So is that plus two if I'm screwdriver? Yeah. Uh, it's not uh, able to be activated. Or at the very least, enough to, like, un stiffen the limbs? N not really. These things are, are you're going to have to drag, move them. But you can drive the car up to it, so that's fine. Yeah, so we'll do that then. Yeah, so you can load these ones in. There is one more that's locked up on the inside of the church building. Uh, anything you want to do with that? Yeah, that's the one I was saying. I wanted to get, like, that one and the one that was closest to me. Okay. Are the two I wanted to get into my van. Okay. I will say it's a very good thing that Zigzag scrambled the police because that's bought you enough time to basically do all this. So you're and able like, to retrieve all the robots. Set the place on fire. If you want to set the place on fire too, that's going to take extra time and you'll be cutting uh, close. She's basically got gasoline she tosses in there. Yeah, you can can I say that's kind of what I was almost working on? Because those bodies that we didn't get, I wanted them... Okay, yeah, Burnt. so you assign that to Jess, and that speeds it up. Um, the guy who Morthos can see is a wolfman. To everybody else, he just is kind of like rough, like a lumberjack almost looking dude. Like, think like Wolverine, Hugh Jackman Wolverine or something. Mm -hmm. um, but he's he's helping out as much as he can, trying to show Goodwill that he's like, uh, he's on your side. Um, Amber is hiding her face this entire time with scarf and goggles. Okay, yeah. Um... So that pretty much uh, wraps up the scene here, unless there's anything else you guys want to do. So, uh, I probably would have picked up my bot, realized I was struggling with the other two bots, and then left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So you're you're out uh, of there. Um, you should just have your bot carry the other two bots. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, pull up to the thing, get them, like, we can get them loaded into the back. And we can worry about hacking them later. So, for interest of closing this out, um, you all exit the scene. You... Amber's driving the uh, whiz van. Yeah, so you have a convoy now, three vans. <laughs> so, everybody is going to get... Uh, let's see. 
I don't know if you're going to get the wisdom point for this one, because I don't think you actually, like, figured out a I think I should get a wisdom point, because I just traveled through, like, a portal. And I think I, I just got smarter. very knowledgeable. I, I'm going to actually say that, Morthos, you will get a wisdom point, because of your basically deactivating the, or, like, hijacking the black hole. Success point, yes. RP point, yes. Danger point, yes. Participation point, yes. Does anyone have an argument why you think you should get a wisdom point? Did you learn anything new? I That's... think I think I should get a wisdom point, and I can put it into supernatural lore. Get yes, zero level Jess, supernatural lore. Today, Jess learned that she's really pretty decent at faking Latin. <laughs> When, when when circumstances are dire. <laughs> uh, I learned how to control a robot and play real life Call of Duty. Yeah, I'd say actually that's uh, between all of that. Yeah, you can all get the wisdom point. You you did learn. Yes. Yes. You did learn stuff with that. So plus, yeah. Five. Plus, I have the whiz band, which has so much information in it. Fair enough. Yep, yeah, everybody can get that extra uh, juicy plus one for it. So everyone gets five experience points for this game. Um, as you race off, uh, and just, uh, we'll, we'll leave it there, but in the Discord, uh, I will post kind of like the next stuff, so stay tuned. Um, you have an extra passenger, you have a bunch of, uh, oh, I'll charge it tonight. Stuff, and then, oh, yeah. sorry. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the recording. Uh, that went a little bit longer than we anticipated, but thank you all for playing. You rescued Morthos, and... Very truthfully, you all just saved the world. So, <laughs> good job, guys. <laughs> we will see you in the I'm next game. I'm assuming had we not, had they not been able to deal with black hole, and end up inside it, it would just keep growing. That's I'm gonna weird. teach Morthos how to BS a uh, report and just say he was with us the whole time, <laughs> and <laughs> he never got kidnapped. This was not a thing. Mm -hmm. Actually, did we report him getting kidnapped? No, we didn't. Nope. So, we only talked yep. to Green about it. Nope. And then uh, for Green Silence, we gave him a couple of robots. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll have you explain Jibber Jabber. They were trying to create a black hole. You were able to hear, like, through this back window. The doctor blew it in, and we fixed it and saved the world. You're welcome. The, okay, the yeah. doctor will, will, back, will report back to headquarters that, like, uh, we we took an early initiative on the uh, on the organ incident, and that uh, we've essentially figured out what was going on, and gives a report uh, excluding the whiz robots, excluding the, the whiz robots we just got, because um, I don't know, maybe you know some oh, of us might want to keep some of those, or yeah, maybe more like, like talk to Green I about them. I don't know. Watering Green up a bit more by offering them to him. Yeah, I figure that would be a thing that we might do, too. Um, but, like, also, we have super genius hackers, so maybe they, they... Some people like extra monitors, you know what I mean? Like, catch my dude drift, you know? I mean, yeah, remember, you know, last, last time when we were literally talking about turning one of these bots into my physical yeah. person? <laughs> I, yeah. Well, you got Sparky now. You know what? That's what I thought you were you were going for when you said you wanted to take that one robot. I was like, yeah, that's that's what he's going to send in uh, as his stand-in. He's going to wait. You need like, your uh, and then a backup. Like, he's when he's going to put on it to where he can still see through it, but it looks like just much a lot more humanoid. Right. He's gonna like download fucking Tekken animations so he can just be like, okay, that one really like 36 hit combo. I'm just gonna press that and watch the animation unfold. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna end the recording here, guys. Uh, we'll feel free to chat more or hang out in the Discord, but uh, we'll see y'all next week. Bye! Ooh.